Okay, welcome back. Mission free, episode free of Devil May Cry. Uh, hopefully the mic is actually working this time. <laughs> Otherwise I'm technically talking to... You know, I'm, I'm always talking to myself. You remember this place? Yeah, I remember coming here. My mother used to bring us here. Tell me everything. Some things have always been. There have always been angels. There have always been demons. And they've always been at war. Like this picture. Nine millennia ago, one demon rose through the ranks to take power over the dark hordes. The strongest, the cruelest. Mundus. But Mundus did not rise alone. At his right hand was his most trusted lieutenant. His blood brother. Sparta. But Sparta betrayed him. He fell in love with an angel, Eva. The secret union between angel and demon was inconceivable. But it happened. And with it came new life. Twin boys. You and I. A hybrid of the warring angel and demon races. When Mundus learned of Sparta's betrayal, his fury knew no limit. He hunted the lovers down. Evil was murdered by his own hand. And for Sparta, he demanded a more brutal fate. Endless punishment and pain. But even as evil was destroyed, and Sparta was imprisoned for eternity, each knew that the seed for their revenge had already been sown. Because according to legend, the only beings that can slay a demon king are Nephilim, a hybrid of angel and demon. Those hybrids now exist, you and I. Coolio. <clears throat> Mundus believed that only one child was born. Yeah. Who's that behind in the background? But there were two Nephilim, and each had been hidden well. Sparta armed his sons. The Rebellion for Dante. The Yamato for Virgil. So, Mundus killed our mom and imprisoned our dad? Yes. And we're the offspring of angels and demons. Demon father, angel mother. We are Nephilim. The only ones that can slay the demon king. Good. How? Spotter. <laughs> Fucking demon collaborators. You're being dragged into limbo. I'll find Kat. She'll get you out. Stand firm. Why am I being dragged into limbo and not you? <clears throat> How do you know that? Each action you perform generates style points. Repeating the same action within a short space of time reduces its value. Earn bonuses for stylish feats such as killing the enemy without taking damage, parrying, long aerial combat, combos, and more. The style rank represents a multiplier that is applied against all your style scores. It increases as you earn points and drops down if you take damage. The total style points you've earned so far in the mission, the more style points you have, the higher your mission score will be. enemy, the Ravager. Come on. So 
So I went back and replayed the first mission because with the new weapons you've gained you can actually access different areas so I, I did manage to find a few new little locations and get some more red orbs but nothing too dramatic. Green orb immediately restores some of Dante's health. Hmm, don't know how to get up to you, mate. Probably need a new skill. Like a triple jump or something. I guess I'm exploring to do first. Going to trash some poor people's box. Sudden change of camera angle, not good. Prison souls. Can you get across? I'll have to find another way. points for me. challenge. Hmm. I'm gonna jump across to him then. Can't go back. Another blue rose.
There he is. Angel boost. Dante propels himself forwards while Elvin. Ah, there you go. I'm getting used to all these different moves you can give him very quickly. I wonder who that statue is. Sparta. Rundus. Very nice colours. <laughs> Just made that one. You might be, I'm not. God damn it. Platforming was never my thing. What you looking at? I managed to get a triple S on my uh, second playthrough with the first stage, that was on the boss. If I can go and get that guy now.
got to get muscle memory into these different moves. Ah. Alright, one more time, then we give up for now. I do it off camera. Oh, come on, David. Okay, now as soon as I get to the point, my brain just seems to forget what buttons I'm pressing. I think I need full instructions every time I do anything. Silver Sachs Tower, the world's most powerful investment bank. And who runs it? CEO, Kyle Ryder, a human vessel, the physical manifestation of Mundus, the Demon King. Through debt, he controls everything. To Mundus, the world is a factory farm for human souls, and he likes to keep his animals monitored and docile. The monitoring is done by the Raptor News Corporation, a global network of CCTV cameras, satellites, and spies. The way he keeps us docile is uh, a little more insidious. What is it? It's in your hand. Planet Earth's most popular soft drink, Virility. The demons have spiked it. Ah, it's okay. It has no effect on us, only humans. It's the bottom in a can. So what's the plan? That's the Hellgate, a conduit from which Mundus draws his power. While he's connected to the Hellgate, he's immortal. But we get him away from the Hellgate, and our swords will do the rest. So, how do we do that? We get his attention. Mundus is petty. He's impulsive. If we hit him where it hurts, let his anger rule him, I believe we can draw him out. Okay, so, to kill Mundus, we need to drag him away from the Hellgate. We do that by pissing him off. Roughly speaking, yes. And we piss him off by taking out the Raptor News Network and Virility. That's it. Which one do you want to do first? <laughs> that was a short mission. And therefore a short episode. Not bad though. Savage. Right. Like I said, a short episode, but I'm just going to make an episode every mission, I think. I think that's the general rule of thumb. So, once again, if you like what you see, <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe, and I guess. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, take care guys.